most Danish parents, it's at least as important to make sure that their kids has the right social skills than they have the academic skills. In my kids' schools, for instance, they would spend the first six months uh, where they would just cut off all the education part whenever there was a situation where the kids uh, were bullying or were yelling at each other, whatever. They would stop the education and then they would spend time solving that problem, trying to make sure that the whole class knew how to solve these problems, how to be a nice person to others. So the first six months, they, they would do that all the time. And I would get more and more stressed because I was just, when are they going to learn how to read and write and all that? Uh, but of course, today, their acad academic skills are really high. Because when you feel comfortable, when you're confident, when you are not stressed, when there are no bullying, when you are aware of all the things that you can do and uh, all the things that, that is part of this uh, social environment that is in the classroom, then you will achieve better. Then you will be more confident also in the academic uh, way. So for me, it's very important that you have the academic skills, but you also have the social skills. Uh, and that is what we teach the children in school, but it's also what a lot of the but Danish parents, most of the fun. Danish parents, I would yeah. say, are focused on at home. Ja. Lige præcis. Så hvad var det, jeg sagde til jer, der var vigtigt? Today, what you've been doing today is called classes, Timmy, or you're saying it's yeah, a little it's, bit, it's, a, it's an extension of that, is that? Yeah, we've it? sort of, it's sort of a development of classes, team, but because we're more focused now on um, developing each and every student, but also developing the community that the class represents. So the focus is both on the individual behavior, but also what is good for and in the group. The way that we educate uh, students in Denmark is quite different. Um, I have a very strong focus on the individual to make sort of a whole person or a, a, a whole platform around and under uh, each and every student because if they're not grounded and founded, they're not teachable anyway. Is this an essentially Danish quality? I mean, it seems that Danes tend to work together well in teams, you know, there's a mm. whole... Mm. We have it a lot uh, in sort of all educations that you, even if you study, uh, if you study law, if you study for a teacher, if you study medicine, there are lots and lots of group. And we've group exams also for the uh, uh, biggest, uh, for the oldest uh, students here. And why do you think that's so important in Denmark? I think it's important because you develop sort of a, a sensitivity and a careness for other people. And it gives you pleasure in the end to know that you lift others as well.